Hello, uh, I am Dr. Tangaraj from Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, which is located in uh, Hyderabad, which is one of the uh, CSAR laboratories. Studying Indian population is very, very interesting. We are very unique because there are large number of human diversity. It counts about 4,635. Uh, all these groups are maintaining their endogamy marriage practice. That means, so every single population marrying within the group. So, this has been there for at least for the last 2000 years. So, because of that, if there is a mutation in the founder of the population, that is going to circulate only within the population. If the mutation is deleterious, which leads to a genetic disease. So, that particular disease is going to be within that population. So, in India, there is a large chance that every single population might have a population specific diseases. In our recent study, we have analyzed more than 275 populations. <coughs> 2,800 individuals from these populations showed high IBD score, that means identity by descent. If you take two unrelated individuals from a same caste or same tribe, and they share a common haplotype block, that means stretch of DNA for at least last 100 generations. So, this is what is very, very important. When you compare this with uh, other small groups where uh, there have been extensive study, they are uh, Ashkenazi Jews population and Finnish population. And these two populations are very small and known for their endogamy marriage practice. And when they, when these two populations have been thoroughly examined, they found a large number of recessive diseases. When we compare Indian population with uh, these two population, that is Ashkenazi Jewish and Finnish population's IBD score, about 81 populations of Indian origin or South Asian showed much, much more IBD score than these two population, suggesting that at least these 81 population will have a population specific disease uh, and this challenge is to map these diseases in future. If you look at uh, several diseases which we are working on, particularly uh, cardiomyopathy, where we found there is a 25 base pair deletion, which is a very founding mutation in Indian subcontinent, which is not present in any other uh, country outside South Asia. If this mutation exists in the homozygous condition, that means uh, we have 46 chromosome uh, exists in 23 pairs. Uh, every individual inherit 23 chromosome from the father, another 23 chromosome from the mother. If either father or mother carry the mutation and there is a chance that they will pass on that to the next generation. Uh, so, that is a possibility of getting only one uh, mutant chromosome out of a pair, a pair of the chromosome. If mother also carry, if father carries, mother also carry the same mutation and there is a chance that both of them contribute to the next generation. So, the, both, the, both the parents are heterozygous for that mutation, the child is homozygous. The impact of that is very, very different. The heterozygous individual, the parents, can be normal up to 40 or 45 years. But the homozygous uh, individual, the child carry the homozygous mutation, are highly uh, susceptible for uh, sudden cardiac death. We have shown that the individuals who have died because of the sudden cardiac death less than 10 years uh, carry the mutation in homozygous condition. Similarly, there are several other diseases um, which 
which is due to mutation in uh, nuclear and mitochondrial genome, uh, which is responsible for neuromuscular diseases. So, the prevalence of such mutation and the phenotype is very, very high among Indian populations. The implications of this study is that we understood that uh, uh, the endogamy marriage practice as, as, uh, as uh, uh, gives much more uh, uh, frequency of um, recessive disease in India and South Asian group. And the future one has to uh, take very extensive study on the populations who uh, show very high IBD score. That means, they may possess a mutation which leads to uh, recessive disease. Uh, the idea is that to uh, once you identify the individuals or identify the population who, uh, uh, who has high IBD score, we need to uh, sequence the population to identify the mutations which are responsible for a specific disease. Uh, initial stage, it may uh, um, uh, take long time and, uh, and we have to invest huge amount of money, but once we identify the mutation, then subsequently screening for that mutation in all the individual belongs to that particular uh, community or cause is not very expensive. In few hundred rupees, one can screen uh, every individual. So, it is very, very important to go to that level. Therefore, we can avoid or prevent the next generation um, without uh, uh, some of these diseases. Uh, CCMB or Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology is one of uh, the premier laboratory under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Uh, we do uh, uh, diverse amount of uh, research, diverse area of research, right from bacteria to animal to wild animal uh, to uh, human uh, to um, at molecular level, protein and structural level, uh, infectious disease and so on. So, it is one of the premier institute well recognized all over the world.